Hey guys, <clears throat> and welcome back to the Mercenaries. When we last left off, we had basically finished all of the uh, other factions apart from the UN, or the AN, I should say. So, whilst I desperately try and find a Apache, and then also realize that I only have an art, well, a rocket launcher and a light machine gun. <laughs> and that's kind of really silly. Yeah, okay, well, we're not really going to be fishing for an Apache with those weapons. So let's get out of here. Let's go see our uh, allied friends and hope... Ooh, that was weird. We actually had some green stuff coming off our tires then. Hmm, emulation glitch? I don't know. Right, let's get out of here. There wasn't... Um, as much of an opportunity as I thought to play with all the cool helicopters, either. Which is a little bit interesting. Ooh, I was like, why aren't we moving? Because you've got your finger on the brake, you jackass. Okay, so, let's go see this chap. Head on in. Welcome back, Merc. I got a simple delivery job for you. Simple. Fortunately, the Chinese are planning on complicating it. Well, if you're going to... Piss off the Chinese, that's fine. Because uh, they don't really like us anyway. So we've got surgical strike. Wait, the allies are charging us? Deliver the vaccine without incurring civilian casualties. Wait, what? How does that make sense? So, the Chinese intervened in the refugee situation in the uh, Tenement Ruins and are actively discouraging any further Allied aid efforts in the area. So, you get to play the humanitarian for once. Uh, right, so, retrieve the vaccine from the Allied medic. Deliver the vaccine to the Allied mass unit within Tenement Ruins. Too many civilian casualties will result in contract casualties. Okay. Um, sure. Who are you taking fire from? Are you lying again? I swear half of you are full of shit. Right. Well, I mean, let's go get this vaccine. I'm not really sure how this is going to work. I guess it's a race against the clock. I guess we've got to deliver loads of vaccines to people. Here's the vaccine. Okay, well, we are going to go as fast as possible. Uh, I'm guessing there's no real realistic way of getting it there without anybody dying whatsoever. But we're going to book it anyway. Come on, Jen. Hopefully we can uh, get there before anybody dies. That would be pretty rad. Hmm, okay, that's fine. Wondering if we've gone the long way round then, but I don't think we have. You know, a helicopter would have been great here. I'm guessing, actually, yes, if we had a helicopter, we probably could have done this really freaking easily. But you know what we don't have? We don't have a helicopter, so that's problematic. Oh, God. Okay, well, up and over. Come on. Definitely would have been easier with a helicopter. And why is my Jeep not driving properly? I think it's because we're on the ice or the snow. Really, dude? Really? Oh. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is gravy. We are alive and kicking. We have the vaccine in our pocket. Everything is good. Now, if the Chinese get too shirty with us, like you. Ow. 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 Man, that gun is... Uh, the fixed grenade launcher is OP, dude. Oh, my. Yeah, well, we don't have a medic. Oh, God. Why? Oh! You're the allies. Okay, well that was a fuck ton easier than I thought it would 
is going to be. Great job. The allies now have the supplies they'll need to treat these refugees. Excellent. Ooh, 100k. Not bad. Uh, right, that's all well and good. Do you guys have, like, anything you can give me? Uh, a little bit of uh, a pick-me-up. Anything at all. You don't have any medical supplies that you can spare for me whatsoever. Are you sure? I am struggling to believe that you don't have any medicates or anything stashed around. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, God. The hell is shooting us? What was sh You? Why are you shooting me? The fuck? That was... Wasn't that an allied vehicle? Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's fine. I mean, you know, it's not fine, but... I guess it has to be fine because we have no say. Not sure what that was about. All right, well, let's grab up another MD. Yeah, we want the MD500 because this thing gets stuff done. No, it's not a Apache, but the Apache is kind of a ball ache to get as awesomely OP as it is. And it easily outstrips the other helicopters. Like, easily. It's kind of redonkulous how good it is. I wish you could order them. Even if they were an absurd amount of money, it would have been cool. Anyway, we've got this now, so... It's not a bad second. <laughs> Um, wait, was there only, oh, right, uh, okay, I mean, I guess we've got them all, only one allied mission, interesting, well then, let's go round these people up, shall we, we've got two on the map, um, Ooh. Um. Ooh. Uh, do we. Uh, now, getting the Apaches just like. It takes so long to get one. You might as well just. You gotta order the sniper rifle, pick the sniper rifle up, get into position, shoot the guy out, hope the helicopter doesn't explode. Like, it's just. It's too much of a ball ache to bother with. And when you've only got very limited time to record as well. I'd just rather jog on and get some stuff done. Now, hopefully flowing, fl flowing around. Yes, we're flowing around. Hopefully flying around. We will encounter yeah, some more number cards like uh, that. So, okay. Well, I mean, that, that kind of worked. Right, you're done. How are you locking on to me? There is no way you're locking on to me. I'm not buying that for a second. You're the ten of spades. Okay, you're coming with me, my dear. Hmm. You're a lighter sack of money. But hopefully, you're still worth a good amount of coin. No, dude. That's mine. Thank you. Oi. Oi. So, with his last dying breath, he... Um... My helicopter bounced. I don't like it when my helicopters bounce. Why did my helicopter bounce? Well, you're smoked. Who else? God damn it. Can't. No, we want to take that out. <sighs> Cannot freaking believe that utter mongoloid. Stole my freaking helicopter. Uh, well, we can get another one, I suppose. Uh, utter arse cakes. Oi! Seems to be a lot of you guys. Get some balls, did you? 
Oh, good. Easy. We'll put her down, matey. So, who have we got here? The Ten of Clubs. Let's have a little read, shall we? Yun Yeong Chao served as an ambassador's uh, aide until the age of 33, at which point she abruptly left her job and applied for Song's elite training program. Nobody in the West has managed to learn the reason behind this. Although she trained with women two-thirds her age, she received the highest marks in her class. Okay, so she's actually the same age as Jen here. However, she's no match for Jen. Go okay, on. Jen must have trained with Jill Valentine or something. Barry Burton. Alright. Well, there's one down. About seven to go, I think. Yeah, because I think there's eight. There we go. No, there's nine, isn't there? There we go. Beautiful. That should be a cool 100k. Yes, 100k. Get in my bank. Not bad, huh? Actually, and she will pay for my helicopter. She will pay for my helicopter. Uh oh. You're supposed to be paying for my helicopter. Thank you. And we actually profited from that as well, so. It's all good. It's all good. It's all gravy, baby. And my monster has run out. God damn it. God damn it. Right, put her down, buddy. There, that. Bastards locked up. Um, oh, we've still got three cards on the map. Uh, maybe we can get all three of them. Hmm, right. Let's go. You coming too, my friend? Oh, you are. He got his jumping boots on and just hopped right on board. Uh, there could be pickups here. Yeah, there, there could be pickups here, but I don't care. Seriously, dude, I wouldn't bother if I was you. I have anti tank missiles on this thing, you know. Ooh. So we. Ooh. 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 Ow. That hurt. Right, let's take these choppers out. One down. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Pepper that bastard. Let's take the Sam out as well. Two Sams. Ooh, aerial combat. Need to be very careful here. There we go. Yeah. Get out of that. Don't want you to die. Thank you. Alright. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right. Let's put her down and continue on foot. Now, hopefully, no one's going to take my helicopter this time. That would be nice if they didn't. Ooh! He almost took my existence, though. Come on. Come on. Why do you guys take so many bullets now? Oh, man. Right, you're dead, too. Yeah, tell me about it, Jen. That was pretty rough. As a health... Well, as a box there. Yes, health. That's it. You're fucked. Boop. Two. Get here, number two. Ha! You're number two. You're a brown stain. And now you go to jail. Don't drop the soap. Right, who is shooting me? You! No, that's... Whoops! Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. That's fine. Okay, come on. Ooh! Didn't realise we... Got that. That was quite cool. This guy can't shoot for shit. Well, neither can we, but... I mean, at least... We've got an excuse. We're using a light machine gun. That dude had... Ooh. Well... Nah. I mean, I'm tempted. I am tempted, but... You have an RPG. That's not allowed. Okay, come here. Come here, Mrs. Number Two. Let's get you out of here, shall we? Get you nice and snug in a torturous, nightmarish prison. 
for the rest of your days, where you shall rot and do hard time and, I don't know, uh, make number plates? Is that what they do? Make number plates all day? I'm not sure. Uh, whatever it does, we're keeping them out of trouble. Where the hell? We've got... Uh, God damn it. Where can we call in Expo 2? Talk about a pain in the ass of an extraction. Now, I don't think we can load these up into other vehicles. Which is a shame. Which is a massive pain, actually. Right, let's... Okay, that'll do. Ah, just carrying your heavy ass carcass around. Not even a thank you. God damn it. Could have just shot her in the face. But like saving her is actually more work. Right, let's go and have a look. Who is she? Number two. As with most of General Song's elite special forces, little is known of Day Kim's origin. As a member of Song's personal uh, retainer, retain? I can't read that, too tired. She received the best training in uh, her country had to offer, although it's not on par with American or British special forces training. Yeah, well. The UK is known to have the best special forces in the world. Fight me. It's actually facts. I don't make the facts. Our general army might not be the best in the world. It's very good, but it's not the best. But our special forces are. Right, come on. Come on. There we go. Not bad, but then for a tiny little island, I think we have like the fourth most powerful army in the world, which is pretty ridiculous, really. But then, I'm not really sure how they work all that stuff out. I just watch documentaries and stuff. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go get our heli chopper back. And now I've sat down, I'm almost falling asleep. Oh, that's not good. Titan, you have to... I mean, as much as it's nice to come home and play games and record, got to start getting more than, like, I don't know, five hours sleep a night. But I don't like going to sleep. Well, I do. I just don't like waking up <laughs> and going to work. Ugh. Knowing you're going to be grinding that shit out for uh, 11 hours. Ah, oh, it sucks. Right, anyway, let's go see this person. Now, we're out of anti-tank, unfortunately, but that's okay. As long as there's not huge quantities of anti-air, we should be fine. And, you know, this game still does have its beauty. It's not exactly the prettiest game in the world, but it's not bad. Ooh, hello. Who are you? You're the four of spades. Ooh. And she has a stinger missile launcher. Which, let's be fair, isn't fantastic. But why is she out here on her own? Um. Okay. I mean, I'm not complaining per se. I just thought you'd put up a little bit of resistance is all. I wonder what her story is. Four of clubs. Eh. Anne is the daughter of North Korean minister who proudly enrolled his daughter in the DPRK Special Forces program. It should be noted that virtually all of Song's army, particularly the elite soldiers, both male and female, are deeply, deeply patriotic, a product of a propaganda-soaked upbringing. Well, she's about to get in the slammer. Is she literally like living up here in the woods? That's really odd, but okay. Well, either way, she's worth a hundred big ones to us. And she's going in the slammer. Forever. I see your, smoke. I'm at the LZ. your life is over. You know, it's weird. Like, people that are brainwashed on propaganda. Is there any possibility for, of redemption for these people? 
I like to think so. It's kind of unfair, really, isn't it, to be brainwashed from birth? You know, they never really had a chance. But none of that matters now. Okay. Ju Iran An is now in the slammer. Yes. Yes, well, the only thing we're proving at the moment is we were the right woman for the job. Now, this is where things are going to get start getting a little bit more delicate because we need to start flying around and looking for number cards. So... I mean, with any luck, we'll just bump into some. That's generally what happens when there's so many left on the map. Um, but... Hmm. It's not going overly well. What about down here? This looks suspiciously number card-like. No? Really? Ooh. I shouldn't get that excited about pickups anymore. Because we're literally end game. But hey. Why not? One more for the road, eh, fellas? There we go. Ancient Lance. Let's give it a save, actually, before I forget. And ruin everything. Because I will. You know. Forget, not ruin everything. I hope I'm not going to ruin everything. Oh, the Chinese like us. Yes, it's the South Koreans that don't. I remember. Right. Cool. So, let's pick one at random. Now, let's go for the three. Chinese intelligence has another report for us. It's time Jin Wing Sao. The three of spades goes quite a ways back. They've been watching her for some time. She used to be in the North Korean Olympic program. Chinese operators uh, operatives have spotted her just north, uh, just south of the chemical plant. Lots of mountain mountainous terrain there for someone with special forces training to hide in. South of the chemical plant, that is. Up there. Okay. Well, that's directly north then. That's nice and easy. Kind of ish. Sort of. It's just kind of out the way as well, which is a little bit of a fuck factor. But that's okay. We can have a nice scenic ride through this wonderful mountainside. This beautiful country that we are so desperately trying to save. I mean, you know, if we can. We're kind of just here for the money. It's kind of a rotten game when you think about it, but... You know. Hey. Ooh. Oh. Right, this... Oh, God. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Ow, ow, that's okay. That's fine. No! Good thing I saved it, guys. Um, yeah, we're going to load that, and, uh, <clears throat> you saw nothing, nothing, right, now we are up to speed, aren't we, so we've got two number cards here, <sighs> that's actually pretty juicy, let's see if we can swipe these two number cards before we have to part ways, or at least one of them, I'll be happy with one. Two would be great, one would be good. Okay. Now, I wish these helicopters appeared a little bit quicker. Come on, time is money, fool. Come on. Land that ass down here. A little bit further. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Excellent. Right. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Right, okay. So, let's go to the chemical plant. Hmm. Now, yes. That'll do. So, if only we had some better weapons to flatline some more of this equipment. But, unfortunately... You know what would have made this thing badass? This minigun's pretty cool, but if they had given this four rockets... Or four missiles, I should say. Imagine that. This thing would be mental. There's a number card 
Ooh. Wow. Well, well, well. Okay. Well, why not go for this one? And unfortunately, this is going to be a dick, isn't it? Whoa. Yeah, this is going to be really freaking annoying. Can we block you up? Kind of. Right, can you please go down of sorts? That kind of works. Now, what I also want to do is get rid of you whilst we fall into the floor and... I have no idea what is happening. Can we back you up? I mean, yeah, kind of. That sort of works. Can we grab you? This is really awkward. Excuse me whilst I manhandle you. Where's that helicopter? There it is. Is that our helicopter? Of course it is. Whose helicopter do you think that would be? Unbelievable. I mean, let's, let's get rid of you. Right, well, I mean, that sucks, but it is what it is. Let's call in our boys. Now, I thought... Ah, hello. I thought I saw some... Some goodies here to pick up, but I guess not. Hmm. Also, I think she was actually a little bit easier to grab than I thought. I Come on, love. You're done. Your life is over. All right, if you could settle down sooner rather than later, pal, you'd be doing me a solid. Come on. Hey, we haven't had a bad haul this episode. That's what, three? Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, even if General Song um, is still out there, he's screwed. Literally, like, lost. He's lost everybody. Good work. Thank you, Fiona. Right, let's give our game a save. Like so. Excellent. And, right, let's just read up on number five, and then we're going to call it a video there, guys. So, uh, Keon Park directs sniper training in Song's Special Forces Squad. She is the best sniper in Song's army, and CIA estimates her rank as 18th in the world. Damn. Though she's highly trained, she lacks experience. This, conf this conflict in her homeland can only increase her deadly usefulness. Ha. Huh. Well, she sounds like a, a good person to get out of the way. So, guys, not bad, man. Not bad at all. When we come back, we have one, two, three, four, five left. And we're going to get two of them, hopefully, in one foul swoop, pretty much. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. <laughs>